Guns of Liberty here. We're gonna try this one more time. We're gonna have some great bloopers at the end of this video. We're gonna do a stability test. I'm going to stand up on the kayak, cast, kind of just check it out, see what it can do. Now, this is the FS-10T kayak. It is not the most stable kayak to stand on, okay? Now, I am not a proficient kayaker, so you gotta understand that most people will probably have better balance than me, but I can stand on this kayak. I can stand up and cast and fish and do anything I need to do. But it is not the most stable. I have been on some 12-footers and uh, kayaks that have outriggers, and they are definitely easier to stand and fish on. This takes a little bit of practice, takes a little bit of balance. Two of the things, two of the things that I do not have. So just keep that in mind. It's definitely a uh, learned art. Anyway, it's Guns of Liberty. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Sorry I didn't fall in the water for you because that would have been even funnier than the bloopers, but it is stable enough to stand on. Good? Yep. So just start. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, it's a plane right now. It's recording. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's you can cool. trim it. Prim is sniffing my butt right now. She's not anywhere near your butt. That's a snake. Sweet. <laughs> Alright. Alright, Guns of Liberty here. We're going to do a stability test. We've been fishing in these all day. A lot of people ask, can you stand up in them? So now I'm going to try and stand up in it. Probably can't. Actually, it's not that bad. It's got a little bit of water to it. Nothing you couldn't overcome. You can't see this on camera, but I totally threw that <laughs> right into the trees. It's probably not the most stable kayak. If you're looking to stand up and fish, you might choose like a 12 footer or get some outriggers, but you definitely can stand up without falling. It is a little bit shaky. Now I'm going to get my lure back. You can cut now, Dan. <laughs>